Hello, and today we are tuning this Corsa into a drift machine. Very unexpected. I was expecting it to fail, but as you see, it does not fail so good. So the tune is on the storefront. If you pause it, you can kind of see what the tune setup is. It's basically similar to the Formula Drift tune but with a few slight differences as I've noticed a few different cars need to be tuned differently for them to drift reasonably well so I came to this location to show you what this car can do I'm gonna shut up let you watch it I'll come back after can't say that doesn't sound beast mode it's making me more interested to do that with a lot more cars boost the volume as I cruise in them so then we can hear the real sounds of the cars because through your tellies your weird headphones and weird items of audio audioness you don't get the full audio yeah just sound like a knob but yeah I've noticed it with ride need for speed most games I've done videos on if you boost the volume you can hear little noises you never knew existed before so this is kind of bonus footage that I've just left in for you to check out there's a lot of bonus footage with this video actually but I just wanted to share with you what I've been up to I eventually might make like a proper drifting compilation of some description because I've been I've made like three four really good drift builds and I've done designs for the cars as well so they look unique they don't just look like a brand new off the showroom car they look like proper track cars drift cars and personal sort of cars so i might show you one close to the end of this video the lotus colton i based the design off an early 90s sort of touring car but yeah this car does go around I was surprised of all cars the car that I can drift around properly is a Vauxhall Corsa I 
do wish they put some old courses and Vauxhall Novas and Vectras and the UK cars that are all over the place like if you went on car trader they should have looked at all those cars I've seen a lot of cars that um, are just standard street cars driving around I want to be customising them I want to drift build those also I might go back to Forza 7 because if you didn't know that's where I started off drifting properly I was drifting cars that had no tunes on so I was basically drifting without no tune, no assist, no nothing so it was just me drifting it by itself and I'll put a link to one of those videos like the ones with the McLaren even though it was the worst quality because I had to send it from the Xbox to my email and then download it and then edit it because I didn't know what to do like and then I thought to myself you need a game capture device and lots of weirdness and then you have a proper game setup so now we have that proper game setup we have the quality we have the skill we have the purpose in our lives to go the distance you see how that guy got scared of the Corsa he heard that engine and he was like no I can't get caught even though I have a V8 my V8 is not as powerful as his Corsair. I have not got the skills to drive my car. So here we go. Where is that? Hold on tight. We got. So as you can see, I've gone a bit nuts with the sort of drifting shenanigans and making different setups. At first, I went crazy on grip tunes. And then because of winter, I turned into a drift monster. Let me know what you want to see in the future, whether you want to see more grip, more drift. Even have any suggestions for cars to try out, let me know down below. Because without you telling me what you want to see, I don't know what you want to see. I might do content you don't want to see. So if you want to see in Hennessy and Annecy, let's see what we see in the future, you see. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, take care. Have a wonderful day. What a beautiful day. Nah, not really. Just an average day. With a bit of fog and smog. And raininess. Good day, my friends.